Hey guys, it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead. And today is, it's the day after the big tornado, straight line winds. Don't really know exactly what we dealt with there. Um, there's a lot of damage. So we did not have um, electricity or internet or anything like that for the majority of yesterday. So I did not know just how extensive the damage was in our area. Um, how bad some people had it um, and it was bad there are trees down on houses and uh, it's just it's bad so Sean and the kids are back from Oklahoma so we've got the full crew here um, to help with the cleanup still here on our property and I just thought I would take you along with us now that the electricity's back on it came on um, ours was out for about 10 hours yesterday so but we've got catch up to do here too I've got some yogurt started on the stove there and um, I've got some sour cream that I started this morning I'm getting caught up on laundry because I didn't do any Saturday and then Sunday which that's when the storm happened today's Monday and um, it's actually Memorial Day so we're home doing cleanup. Um, we do have a friend that is supposed to be coming by. When our electricity came on, they still did not have it. So they took our gas generator. They're bringing it back this morning. And we have another family in the lineup that they still do not have power. And I think they're gonna take our gas generator then too. Hopefully they get their power on soon. And um, we're just gonna play catch up, roll with the punches, see, where we can help people that need help and all at the same time we're still preparing for david's birthday party coming up this next weekend so there's cleaning house food preparation planning you know there's other things going on with that too so come along with us today um, we do have a project too that i hope we get to it'll be nice too so i'm hoping that's in this video too but we're going to see how the day goes and just take you guys along with us so here we go. Okay, so while Sarah and I are working inside, um, this is asparagus from our garden. Just gonna saute it up with some eggs and uh, make that a quick um, breakfast. This is the yogurt that I just get started. We have one little duckling egg in the incubator that has pipped. And so I'm hoping we can hatch this one out. This was a leftover egg. Uh, mama hatched ducklings and then walked off with those ducklings and left eggs in the in the uh, in the nest and we're gonna see if we can get that one to hatch so while we're doing this stuff inside I've got others in the family helping out outside here I've got Andrew and David working on chopping up these limbs. This was the tree that uh, came down in pieces and hit different parts of the house. That's on a previous video and I'll put that link in the description box so you can see that on the day that it happened. So the boys have this set up over here with the saw horses and they're getting it chopped into firewood. Sean is trying to manage the remaining trees to go ahead and take off things that are adding weight. This tree is very off center now. I don't even know if it'll live, but um, we're gonna try to do some maintenance there. Abigail's getting stuff cleaned up, separating what'll be chopped up into firewood versus the upper limbs that are gonna go to the burn pile. I know Sam was working on a YouTube video for me and, and Anna has Rebecca, says she's teaching her her ABCs. So that's where everybody is at this morning. We've all decided that with all these limbs down on this side of the tree, you sure can see the summer kitchen a lot better. So it's a, we're kind of enjoying that aspect of it. Everything's still a mucky mess. So shouldn't really be too much work in the garden today because it is a swamp out there. But uh, I'll just keep up with you guys through the day and see what all we can get accomplished. All right, breakfast is ready. Some already have plates made up. This is the asparagus scramble. This is with chicken eggs. 
here. And then there's watermelon. My watermelons from Kroger were not the best, but they're still, they're being eaten. So watermelon and then from the garden, we're getting all kinds of pea pods every morning from the garden and black raspberries now. Those of you that don't, this is what a black raspberry looks like. These are my favorite. And then there's blueberries down there in the bottom of the basket. So they get to pick what they want out of that too. So I'm hanging up the first load of laundry and uh, I'll come back in for a second. And we're trying now, we've got some friends that are still without power and we are trying to coordinate with them to get some generators to them. So that's what's going on at this point. Okay, touching base with you guys. So I had a friend show up and return the gas generator this morning. And another friend came and took the solar generators to their property. And I'm about to hang up third load of laundry. Uh, they're still working some on the huge gumball tree out in the pasture out there. And uh, got Rebecca to finish up her breakfast and mine is sitting there I graze as I come in and out I eat a little bit and keep going that's super cold coffee at this point but it's still good so okay I'm gonna head back outside oh here comes Sean he's he stepped away he's he's, a, he's the sweaty mess he's sweaty to the point where like sweat is dripping off his nose and that's lovely. So, okay, I'm gonna head outside and keep going. My yogurt is cooling now, the milk is cooling, and then I'll get it in jars and stuff like that. I haven't started on bread or anything. I did update you guys on YouTube though. I did a community post just to let you all know we were still alive and kicking over here, so nobody was worrying about us. I did get a few messages asking if we were okay. Of course, I didn't see them yesterday when the electricity was out, but thank you all for thinking of us and reaching out to make sure we were okay. That was sweet and I appreciate it. Okay, gonna go do laundry. All right, laundry's done. Gonna go inside and eat some lunch. They've just pulled a bunch of leftovers out. You're gonna go check the gate because I think Emily's coming over. I'm talking to Sarah. Go check the gate and Andrew is still cutting up more logs. So that's where we're at right now. I'm gonna go eat and there's my laundry. I almost maxed out the clothesline today. I had two, two lines left on the clothesline. So it was a heavy duty laundry day today. But now it's lunchtime and then we'll move on. All right, lunchtime's going on in here. And Sam's emptying the dishwasher for me. So hodgepodge of stuff over here. Emily, you're excited that Emily's coming? Yeah. So Sean brought home rotisserie chickens yesterday. We ate one for supper last night. We're having one for lunch and we have another one here too. So we didn't know how long we were gonna be without power. So it makes uh, food easier now. So I am getting ready to get my yogurt put in jars, that warm milk. And I'm thinking I may push bread making off till tomorrow. Abigail has asked for grilled cheese sandwiches for her birthday lunch, which means we need some good bread. So I may do that tomorrow though, because I do need to work on the budget that was supposed to have been done yesterday. I'm reevaluating. You want some of the salad? Don't drop it. Go take it to the table then. So I'm reevaluating what my highest priorities need to be right now. Just stirring up all that yogurt starter in there. So it's incorporated in the milk. And now, oh, I got that sticking. I'm going to go ahead and fill these up with the rest of the warm milk. And try not to make a mess. Pop it off 
There we go. All right. Lids on. And then we're going to wrap it up in this blanket here and let it sit on the counter until tomorrow. And then it should be nice, thick yogurt. But I gotta scoot a little duckling out of the way here. I can hear it making noises inside that egg. extra insulation there and it will sit till tomorrow yes Emily is still here Rebecca's concerned that Emily has left so okay so been working in the kitchen um, the rest of the crew is outside working on uh, one one crew is out in the pasture cleaning up that huge gumball tree that came down, and the other crew has been here in the front yard. Which crew have you been on? Um, the front yard. The front yard crew. <laughs> Tell them what you came inside and found on you just a little bit ago. A centipede. A centipede crawling <laughs> on her. So you didn't really care for the centipede being on you, did you? I don't like that. No, not not real. We're not scary. a fan. Okay, so um, got the yogurt wrapped up. I did some kitchen cleanup. That was the deal. Um, normally we have lunchtime helpers that do clean up afterwards, but they were working outside, so I took over inside and got the table and everything cleaned up. Um, I do still need to sweep the floor, but I've done countertops and got the dishwasher loaded. I think at this point, Sean is going to take over the camera right now. Um, he's going to go outside. Uh, I think he's going to show you what the, uh, the other crew is working on out in the pasture. And then he has his own project that he's going to work on this afternoon. So I think he's going to take over the camera, but I will come back whenever he finishes with his stuff. Does that sound like a plan? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll do that then. Okay, so I'm coming down here to show this tree. Wish I'd got pictures of it before it was so cut up. It was huge. It was just limbs everywhere. All over this section over here was just gigantic limbs everywhere. They've cut most of those up and have that cleaned up. So they're getting all this cleared. Pretty good sized tree. We've got a lot of firewood uh, that we're going to have as a result of this. And what we've done is I've got this carry-all in the back of the tractor that they're loading firewood in and we're hauling it up there to where we keep all the firewood. So just showing what's going on down here by the creek. Well, I'm out here at the raised bed gardens and we're, we're excited because we've got a new product that we're going to put together and try out uh, from LandGuard. These are going to be raised bed gardens uh, that are metal instead of wood. So Let's put them together and talk a little bit about how we're going to use these here on the homestead. We have two of these uh, that's been sent. This is the uh, box that the uh, two foot deep one comes in. Uh, this it looks like about four foot by two foot. And you can see it's just a couple of inches wide, really easy to handle. But this is the box that the product comes in when it's mailed to your home. Okay, so I've opened up the box. And you can see this is the, uh, the four foot by eight foot by two foot deep raised bed, garden bed. And you can see that galvanized metal, uh, pretty simple, straightforward instructions we're gonna follow right here. 
and we're going to uh, assemble this, put this together. And you know, the thing is about metal, it's not going to rot away like the wood and there's no chemicals in it. So you don't have to worry about chemicals leaching into your soil and that galvanized, that zinc coated metal isn't going to rust. So this should last a lot longer than using wood for your raised bed. And it looks really nice, looks really good. Starting off, I'm just starting here on a corner. And uh, I've got Anna out here filming me. And just put the screw through, of the bolt, I should say, through. And that just goes on the other side. You can just hand tighten it at first. Makes it quicker. And one of the things I really like, I've already noticed, even though this is that galvanized metal, here's the top of it. See, I'm, I'm rubbing my hand across it. They've got it nice and, 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 and folded over and smooth. So you're not going to cut yourself. It's safe to reach over and everything where you're using it. I'm halfway done. Yeah, very straightforward, very easy to understand, very simple assembly. I'm having no problems whatsoever getting this put together. Well, it took about an hour. Now keep in mind, I was working by myself. I assembled it alone. If you had another adult helping you, it'd be certainly less than an hour to put it together. Uh, very straightforward, very easy. Uh, had all the parts were there. I had no problem. Everything lined up perfectly. I like the look of it. It's, it's very sturdy. Again, uh, I like the idea that, that galvanized metal, that's not going to leach any type of chemicals uh, into the soil. It's going to reflect the heat. It's durable. It's lightweight and it's easy to move. You know, these old, uh, like these old beds over here that are rotting away, you can't move those. Once you build them, there they are. They're stuck there. You can move this around to decide where you want it. I mean, even after you put dirt in it, you take the dirt out, you could still move it around. I mean, this thing's going to last a long time. So basically, here's what this looks like all put together. And you can see those uh, rods on the inside for support. For the, so the middle, you know, won't, uh, you know, bow outward or anything like that. Edges are not sharp. I'm very impressed with it. Look forward to filling this full of dirt and use this to grow vegetables. Um, you know, we just we we use a lot of uh, raised bed gardening, and we're going to get more and more into it. And this is really going to work out well for us. I'm very pleased. Now, this is the two foot one. We also have a one foot a version that I'm going to put together as well. And so, uh, hey, big uh, thumbs up here on this land guard raised bed. Okay, well, off to the next project. Got these raised beds built. Land guard raised beds, got a link below. Hey, it's great. I can't say enough about them. So this is going to work out great for us. We got good products out here. Uh, so uh, galvanized steel, not going to rot like the old wood easy to put together, uh, environmentally much safer than having the old chemical treated wood and things like that. So uh, I can't say enough good things. This is very much a blessing. Glad they reached out to us. It's going to make a great addition on the homestead. So off to the next thing. Okay, guys, I got the camera back from Sean. He finished those cool raised beds for me. And I'm excited to be able to grow things in them. So it's a nice addition to our homestead. But while he was working on that, I managed to get the um, budget all squared away. That's something I would usually have done yesterday. But yesterday got a little exciting for other reasons there. So I am going to head out and try to show you guys how things ended up with that big gumball tree that took out the goat pen fencing. And uh, we'll see what it looks like. And then we're, again, we're just going to eat on that third rotisserie chicken tonight for supper. Scrounge around and eat what needs to be eaten. The sun is setting. I don't know if you can tell. The sun is setting. Okay, we're going to head on back. Andrew's been using that old tractor all day today to be hauling firewood. 
They've made a big dent in this tree too. Oh, it's a big tree and it's uprooted. There's a big hole off in the woods here. Let me turn the camera around. You can, you can see it. Oh, I got a mom, the mama goat over here. She just recently had triplets. Let's see, can you see her? She's gonna get up. She's trying to get those leaves. They love those peach tree leaves over there. She is our best mama too. She is a good, good mama. I think her babies must be in the goat shed. Okay. Lots of the treetops gone. Lots of firewood cut up and taken to the woodshed. Oh goodness, you guys, I saw that on the ground. What did you think that was? <laughs> I thought it was a snake. <laughs> it's a bunch of rope they left out here. So Andrew tells me there is a big hole in the ground there where this tree is uprooted back there in the woods, but I'm not going back there. Oh, you can kind of see the ground. If you can see the ground poked up there from where it uprooted. But big old tree. So they did get a lot done. We're still lots of fencing to repair here. All this goat fencing along here. We cannot let that mama out here. Normally she'd have access to all this grass and stuff here, but obviously we can't leave her and her babies out here because they can escape. So we will get it done though. It's day by day. We've got some cleanup to do tonight. Sun is going down, so it is time to clean up and put tools away, but we'll get back after it again tomorrow. Here's that mama goat. Hey, good girl. You being a good mama? Yes, you are. You're being good. These are the ducklings that we hatched out in our incubator just recently. For those of you that watched that video, they are growing up fast and looking pretty. Oh, we got a turtle stuck down here. Okay. We're going to have to rescue a turtle here, I think. Okay, so Anna tells me the turtle's name is Samantha. And it's a friend of theirs. <laughs> So, and it's not stuck, so it just lives in there, and it's hiding right there right now. So, but look at them. They're going to follow Sean and put them there. This is the guy that feeds us. There they all go. <laughs> She's making quick work of that. Clean it up, girl. This is our oldest set of twin babies. And call these little lambs salt and pepper. There they are. They're sweet babies. <sighs> and noisy goats over here too and there's cows bellowing evening chores is a noise <laughs> evening chores is a noisy time well, I'm not going to get too close to you mama she does not like us getting too close to her and her babies there. She's been a good mama. Those babies can go in and out of that chicken tractor there. They fit right through the little slats. So. <laughs> See, you got it loaded down with firewood. Oh yeah. 
So, is this this is the uh, contraption that Papa made up, isn't yep. it? Yeah. So my dad built this to go on our old tractor, and that's what they're using down there at that gumball tree to haul the wood back up here. Is this the last of it? No. <laughs> This is the first of it. <laughs> yep. We're going to be set for firewood. So this is what we get from a sawmill that's in the area. And then this is the stuff we're cutting up and accumulating just from around the property here as trees go down. And you get things set up to keep us warm in the wintertime. is them working up an appetite. Yeah. Yeah. Sweating out toxins. Good and healthy. All right, guys. It is the next day. Do you remember that little duckling in the incubator that I showed you at the beginning of the video? Well, it hatched. So, another little duck baby. The only problematic thing is there's one. <laughs> and I don't have any buddies for uh, this little one to hang out with. Now, here in just a couple weeks, there will be some turkey babies, hopefully, because I do have turkey eggs in this incubator. But in the meantime, this little one is just going to have to be an only child for right now, I guess. All right, guys, so thanks for coming along on our day and seeing all the things that we tried to improve upon on our homestead. Um, we did get a lot done, but there's always more to do on the to-do list. It is never ending. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you do the thumbs up just to show that you did like our video. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Double check that you are subscribed and then tell others about our family's channel. If you could let them know about Ozark Family Homestead, it would help our family's channel grow. And be sure to double check our description box below for all the information about LandGuard. They were very good to us um, in providing those raised beds for us to review, and we are sincerely pleased with them. So please check them out. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching Ozark Family Homestead.